Hello everyone, my name is Chris and in this video we will discuss piteal expressions. So in previous videos you heard me mention piteal expressions a lot, but I'm sure a lot of you were confused on what that is. Now when writing smart contracts with piteal, it's very easy to think that you're writing a smart contract with python code. However, this really isn't the case. If you try to use python native expressions inside a piteal expression tree, the contract will throw an error. If you see an error that looks something like this, you're most likely using Python native expressions when in fact you need to use PyTeal expressions. Best to explain this with some code examples. Here we have a PyTeal smart contract. And just like any other PyTeal smart contract, we have the router set up right here. Because I wanted to keep this simple, I just defined what happens during creation and I left all the other incomplete actions as the default state, which is never. This smart contract has one method called create count. It's registered with the router.method decorator. And inside the create count, I'm trying to create a global state using global put where the key value is count. And I want to initialize the state to the int value of one. And then I approve the transaction. Now down here under line 17, I'm going to use router's compile program method to compile this smart contract. Now if it compiles successfully, it will print out the message app is successfully compiled. But if it throws an error, I'm going to catch that error and then print it out. Let's go to the terminal and run this file. Now if you look at the top of the error message, we get an attribute error called int object has no attribute type of, which is the error message that you get when you're using Python native expressions and not a PyTeal expression. Let's go back to our contract and see where we made the error. So inside the create count method, and when we're creating the global state, we're initializing it to one. But here, this number one is a Python native expression. To fix the error, we need to use the PyTeal expression int, and then have that surround the number one. So if we quickly break down this PyTeal expression tree, sequence is a PyTeal expression, app.global put is a PyTeal expression, bytes count is a PyTeal expression, int1 is a PyTeal expression, approve is also a PyTeal expression. So all of these PyTeal expressions are linked together inside the sequence PyTeal expression. So this entire thing is a PyTeal expression tree consisted of multiple PyTeal expressions. Now let's save the file, go back to our terminal, and run this file again. And voila, you can see that the app is successfully compiled and we fixed the error. PyTeal expressions can be confusing, but if you run into an error when writing smart contracts, this should be the first thing to look for when debugging. Just remember, PyTeal smart contract is a PyTeal expression composed of other PyTeal expressions. Now let's move on to the next video.